Hey guys, I'm Akash and I'm back again with another best games video and this time in collaboration with Sam from Turbo Tech. So if you like his part, do check his channel out and possibly subscribe. Also there is a little giveaway in this video. So make sure you stick till the end to know more about it. And now let's get into the video. The first game on my list is Thumb Drift. Opening the game itself, it will show you the levels you have unlocked and you can choose any of them to play, obviously, and the game starts off with a car quote the first time you open it. The game is pretty much self-explanatory. The car will be moving at a constant speed and you have to drift the car with your finger according to the turns. There will be coins in your way that you can collect. And this one is one of my favorite 100 games right now. And my high score for this level is 218 and you can try beating that score and letting me know on Twitter maybe. And you can use your coins here to purchase new vehicles. So I guess that's about it and let's move on to the next game. The second game on the list is Deadland. Now there's a small story in this game and that's about the world which is now shattered with undead meaning zombies and there's a minute left in a zombie apocalypse. So you'll have to run as far as you can choose from tons of weapons and cars to kill as many zombies before you die. And down the road, you can even unlock new landscapes, zones and characters. Talking about the graphics, it's all of those modern 8-bit games. Well now let's move on to the next game. And the next game I'll be featuring is called Daddy Was A Thief. As funny as it sounds, it's about a dad who loses his job and decides to rob a bank. So this is also another 100 game I love to play. The game is pretty simple, you swipe down to break through each floor and collect coins either by collecting the coins which are there or by breaking the furniture. So some quick things to note, breaking the fridge would make you covered in ice which protects you from the cops, jumping into the bathtub will let you break into some floors all at once, and if you go near the grandma she's gonna kick you really up high, and if one of those laser hits you, you turn small for a duration of time. So I guess that's about it, uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory, you can download the game and just look through the tutorial and you have to avoid being hit or shot by the cops. So you can also buy some add-ons and power-ups with your money. So it's a pretty good fun time killing game and now let's move on to the next one. Coming to the fourth game on the list, we have Sky Dancer. Now this is another endless running game, but with a twist as in this game, falling is just as important as running. So the main objective of the Sky Dancer is to run, jump and fall from floating platforms and hope that another one pops up to land on so you can keep on running to the next floating platform while also collecting coins. As you might expect, the controls are simple. You keep running automatically with tapping on the left or right of the screen making your character move respectively. Tapping on both the sides at the same time makes the character jump. Talking about the graphics, well it's one of the best in any such game that I've played. And yes, there are daily rewards and you do get bonus points for making a precise jump or a perfect landing. Also, there are quite a lot of characters to choose from which of course you'll have to buy from your hard earned coins. The next game is Circuit Ride. So the game itself starts with a bold statement saying that this game isn't easy and good luck reaching the top 100 ranking. So the game is set in some kind of intergalactic space and you have to control this small purple triangle and shoot all the green objects that are trying to escape out of the circle. And I'm seeing it again, this is also another 100 game which is pretty tough in my opinion and addictive at the same time. You get this machine pulse once in a while for continuous shooting. So this game also has some modes to choose from. So I guess that's about it. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. Sup. Well, that's the sixth game on the list. So Sup is a multiplayer racing game. Now the best way I can explain this game is, well, you guys have played Asphalt 8, right? Now all the things that you do in Asphalt 8, like jumping, drifting, changing lanes, collecting coins, Customizing cars and all those stuffs can be done here as well But as you can see the style of this game is nowhere near to the likes of Asphalt 8 and in my opinion this game is more fun to play 
well not much to say about it just head to the description and try it out yourself so the game i'll be featuring now is sonic surge this is one of the most minimal games i have come across so in this game you have to control this plane or rocket or whatever by turning that thing towards left or right by tapping on the left or right side of the screen and it will be moving in a constant speed and you have to avoid the obstacles the game is just about the distance travel and so there are no coins or anything to collect on the way and i guess that's pretty much about it and let's move on to the next one up next we have albert anoto and there is a story going on here as well and that's the player albert is thrown head first into a haunting world set in 1939 germany and he is in search of a mysterious girl with bunny ears clues as to who she is and what happened to her are scattered throughout the game in the form of drawings left in post boxes and charts that you must piece together and talking about oto is that girl's magical bunny so we'll have to use both albert and oto in creative ways to traverse the haunting world and as much a guest the controls are super simple use the joystick to move swipe and aim to shoot tap the jump button to jump while oto can fit through tight gaps and hold down power switches but together you can unlock new skills such as a double jump levitation control of electrical currents and more as the story unfolds the game goes for a dollar and 99 cents on the play store but i do have two promo codes for this app and to win just make sure you subscribe to my channel and comment down hashtag #albert with a twitter username to enter and i'll announce the winner on 5th of june on my twitter and the last game on my list is wave from the widely popular guys of catch up I have got to say this is one of the most minimal and addictive games I have played in a while. So the game is simple. You control this plane by tapping and long pressing to go through these hoops and avoid obstacles. You can also collect these blue balls in the way that can be used to purchase other planes. So when you go through a hoop without getting in contact with the ring, you get 2 points. Whereas when the plane touches the ring, you get 1 point. But when you simultaneously go through 6 hoops without touching the ring, you you get 4 points. if you go through the coming hoops without getting in contact with the ring and then you have your regular purchases to buy planes with those blue balls you have collected so that's pretty much it and let's move on to the last game wrapping up the list we have injustice 2 this game lets you select from a variety of dc comic superheroes and villains where you have to control them and win battles and that lets you to level up your fighter in order to gain new powers and upgrades Well, you can earn access to tons of different gear while you win matches that can not only change the appearance of a fighter but also offers some extra bonuses for health, abilities, strength and much more. And yes, at first, it's like playing Mortal Kombat X because of the similar controls. Well, that's all I have to say. If you like this video, then make sure to leave a like and don't forget to check out Sam's channel. Thanks for staying till the end. Adios.